Good evening, bookies. My name is Hannah, and it is cold. <laughs> so over the weekend, we got um, a couple inches of snow here in Utah, and it is freezing even in my house. I'm wearing a jacket and sweatpants, so I'm not up to standards for today's video. But I decided that we are going to talk about some Christmas things that if you have a friend who's a book nerd and you don't know what to get them, I'm going to give you a couple ideas of what to get them. So let's begin. So obviously on my list I have the usual things that you usually see, you know, wherever you look. And then I have a couple of things that are quite different that I thought were super interesting and I would like myself, if anybody out there knows me and is buying me a Christmas gift, this is where you get them from. So, all the gifts and the products that I'm going to be mentioning are going to be in the description below. Um, I found most of these on, like, BuzzFeed had an article about it, I looked up on Pinterest, and I, like, googled stuff. So, we're going to start off with the usual, like, pillows. So obviously you're going to see a lot of these around during Christmas time of what to buy book nerds, and a lot of them are pillows, like little pillows that have quotes on them that, like, say like, oh, so little time, so much to read, or one does not stop buying books simply because there is no more room on their shelves. These are absolutely adorable little pillows, and like all the ones that are pop popping up on screen right now, all of them are in the description alone. Just look at what they say on the pillow, and it will be in the description for you to buy if you are interested. Another one that I saw was super common this year is tote bags, because a book nerd can never have enough tote bags to carry all their books in. There are a lot of them around this year and I absolutely love them all. I think they're all super adorable. So if you're thinking, oh well, if my book nerd friend needs something, maybe I'll get them a tote bag. It's a good idea. It is a great idea. Just hold on because there are better ideas coming. Another idea for our book loving coffee drinkers are mugs. Again, there are a lot of these around. You will see them literally everywhere and they'll have a different quote or they'll have like books painted on them and it'll be kind of like the same with the tote bags and the pillows. You can always find a tote bag, a mug, and a pillow probably with the same saying on it. These are very cute ideas but they are, there are, they are everywhere. Another very common one that people are often getting their book nerd friends are shirts for Christmas that have just book sayings on them, they all literally all have the same, some of them will have the same saying on them. You can find a mug, you can find a shirt, you can have a, find a pillowcase, and you can find a tote bag probably with the same saying on them. Let's continue on to the more interesting ones that I have personally never seen before, but I think would be great gifts for Christmas. So the first one that I saw that I was like, wow, this is really amazing, it's clever and it's cute, is this. It is a ring that has the Dewey Decimal System number on it for fantasy, sci-fi, and mystery books. And I think it is absolutely gorgeous. I personally would not wear it because I'm not a jewelry person, but I think it's such a cute and clever idea for anyone who is in love with books. Another piece of jewelry you can get is a bracelet. This bracelet, and I think it is a Pride and Prejudice bracelet. It's made of the pages of Pride and Prejudice rolled up. And I think it's extremely cute, it's probably delicate, and again, I wouldn't wear it, but if you have a big book nerd who is into jewelry, then this is a perfect one. But the next one's better, hold on. Another piece of great jewelry are these bookshelf earrings. They are very cute and they are very small, and they're in the description below. All of this, again, is in the description below. And if you bought your friends all the previous jewelry I just showed you, then they're surely going to need a book jewelry box. Look at it! It's so cute and it's so clever and I literally would just put it on my bookshelf and hide it. I do have a couple books on the bookshelves that are fake and that are hidden and this one would just slide right in and I think it is so clever and so cute. Next we're gonna switch gears a little bit and go to bookmarks. Now I have a lot of bookmarks but the ones I'm gonna show you are cute and they're like helpful and just, they have a purpose. Like, book sh bookmarks have purposes, but these ones have an extra purpose. So the first one I'm going to show you is this little bookmark here, and it holds your pages. You can switch a page, and it'll still hold your page. That way, if, like, you can accidentally close it, it's still there. If, like, you wander off, it'll keep your page. Just, I think it's so simple. Such a simple little design. 
and it's very, very functional. Another one that is functional and cute is this one right here. It holds your place where you finished reading like the night before or like a while ago or just when you closed the book. I personally would not want this because I do like to kind of read back a little bit when I pick up again on the page. So I don't really have a problem with losing my place on the page. But I think there are they are extremely cute. They come in different colors and if you want them they're in the description. So that's it for the functional ones. Again, bookmarks are all functional. But now we're going to get to the super cute ones that I think are so... I'm going to say this about everything, but they're so adorable. So first there is this one, which is The Witch's Shoes from The Wizard of Oz. And I've seen this site before. My mom tagged me in something on this on Facebook a couple of years ago. Maybe it was last year or the year before. I don't quite remember. And they have different feet. They don't just have The Witch's Shoes from The Wizard of Oz. They have hobbit shoes. I remember they have the hobbit feet. And so they kind of just stick at the edge of your book and I again they are so cute and if anybody wants to buy me a Christmas present give me these. Another one these ones don't stick out at the bottom but at the top like the traditional bookmarks and they are little hippos that sit up at the top of your book like they're hippos just sitting out like of the water and I love little ones that are so like just they're simple like that. And it's just, they turn your book into something more like this one would be like water that they'd be picking out of. And they're just cute. Let's move on. Now, if you're thinking about getting your friend a book tote bag, which again, I think is a smart idea, think about this one instead. It is a legit book bag that holds books of whatever else you need in it. It's hilarious, it's clunky, and I think that it would look kind of awkward, but it'd be something that I would totally wear. Next is if your book nerd doesn't have quite the perfect library they want. This is a bookshelf decal for a library. You just stick it on the wall. It makes it look like you have the library of your dreams. I obviously don't need one. I have the library of my dreams right behind me. But if your friend would like to turn a room more into a, you know, like a library, an actual old leather bound book library, then you should look these up because they look amazing in the picture and yeah. Another thing that I found that I've never seen before is a clock that tells you when to read and I mean all the time is reading time so I think this clock is absolutely perfect for literally any room. It's cute, it's clever, and it's in the description. The next one is something I'm gonna get when I have the money for it. I don't know how much it costs, but it is a library like set, a mini set. It's got like library cards, it's got stamps in it, it's got like cute little notepad. It's adorable and it's tiny and I think I need it for one day. One day I'm gonna let people borrow my books, but that day is not today, but I need it. So like when if you loan out a lot of books or if your book friend loans out a lot of books, this is perfect for them. Each person gets a library card and you have a date that you have to bring that book back in time. It, I think it's so, so cute and again it's super smart. I think it's a genius idea whoever thought this up. Another thing that I think I'm going to constantly need, I always need new ones of this, is a phone case. There are a lot of phone cases out there that have again quotes and they have like books stacked on them. And they're super cute. You can get actually, I've seen one before and I'll put a picture of it here if I find one. It's a folding phone case, kind of like the one I have here, like that. Except it's an actual, it looks like a book. And I think you can customize it to whatever book you'd like. But I've seen a few that are like Sherlock Holmes or they're just plain leather bound. I think I've seen an Alice in Wonderland. And so if your friend has problems protecting their phone or if they just need a new phone case, Thank you for bumping into my tripod. Then I think this is a super cute, super clever idea is to just get them a new phone case. And some of them come cheap. And finally, we come to the end. This is a book, um, it's a bookend. I don't know why I forgot how to say bookend, but I am always in constant need of bookends. I have bookends, I have books sometimes sitting on the top of my shelves and I just kind of lay them down. But there are super, there are super cute, super clever bookends out there. I've seen Doctor Who bookends. Personally, I would probably get one of those. I've seen super simple ones. I've seen like nerdy ones. I've seen Harry Potter ones. Literally, I'm sure you can just Google it and there will be 
bookends to what you want. Okay, so that is the end for the Christmas gift ideas for book nerds, but before I go, I have an announcement. I've come out with a schedule for you guys. So, I have finally kind of gotten my life in order, and so now you guys will be getting a Top 10 Tuesdays, obviously every Tuesday, and a uh, another video every Friday, starting now, starting immediately. and. Yeah, I'm super excited to get this finally started. I'm super excited to finally get a schedule out for you guys so you can expect the next video instead of waiting weeks and weeks on ends like you used to. Also, I did a book bookathon, a readathon, and hopefully that video will be coming to you guys soon because I'm finally out of my reading slump. You guys can expect a review on the book I just finished. It was amazing. And I will see you guys in the next video. Rock on. Hey guys, I'm Hannah at Gab Books, and today me and my sister, Lulu, are going to meet in just a few seconds. We are doing the siblings tag, so she is so